everybody.
Thank you so much. How's everybody doing at Disney World today at Epcot? Well, I'm so excited to be with you. I want to first of all just say a huge thank you to the Disney powers that be, Mickey Mouse on down, whoever it was that decided at the Garden Rocks concert series this year to include Christian music to let us come be a part of this. We are so excited and thankful and grateful to get to celebrate this Easter weekend with you all. Uh, the great, great news that we celebrate on this day and on such a beautiful day. What an amazing day we have um, compared to a couple of days ago when we were trying to get here. I don't know if any of you all had uh, as much trouble as we did getting to Orlando, but it was a little tricky. But we're so excited and just very, very grateful that you are here. Some of you all know uh, my music. I can see you singing along. Some of you all know that I've been at this for a few years. In fact, my first album came out. About 32 years ago, I was uh, I was eight years old, and uh, it was a <laughs> children's album. No, okay, I'm lying. On a Sunday, on Easter Sunday, I'm sorry. Forgive me, but no. But I have been at this for a while, and some of you all know that. Some of you go way back. Some of you are just walking by, going, "Okay, there's these guys are making a lot of racket. I got to go check out what's going on." So, um, for you who might not know, I'm going to give you a very quick introduction to myself. Uh, my name again is Stephen Curtis Chapman. I grew up in a little town called Paducah, Kentucky. Um, Western Kentucky. All right. Go Paducah. Yes. You don't know. You don't know Paducah. Okay. Maybe you do. All right. Okay. It's halfway between Possum Trot and Monkey's Eyebrow on the map. If you look for it, I promise that is really true. Um, and so I'm going to give you just a little history lesson very quickly on the life of Stephen Curtis Chapman with a song. This is a song I wrote, kind of an autobiographical uh, song that tells you just a little bit about how it all began for me. It goes like this. On the bank of the Tennessee River began uh, several years ago, not even going to tell you how many, um, and then, but about 35 years ago, um, I was in college, I found that I was sharing a mailbox with a young lady named Mary Beth Chapman, same last name, so I thought that was kind of interesting, someone, you know, with the same last name, uh, a female, and I met her and was, let's just say, very, um, very uh, immediately attracted to this vision of beauty that I, I saw walking across campus in Anderson, Indiana, where we met. And, um, and after about a year of sharing many meals together and many conversations, I asked her to share a mailbox with me forever. And she said yes. And that was 34 years ago now that we've been married. Again, I, um, I have to kind of quickly say, because if you're trying to do the math, I am from Kentucky, and we get married very, very young, okay? So if you're trying to figure out how could a guy be married that long and be so young, I know you were thinking that. And the fact that I'm married, a, you know, a, a girl with the same last name, some people think that seems, was that weird? You know, was that strange? You know, was that, 
And I'm from Kentucky. It was not unusual, really, at all. So I, I'm kidding. Okay, sorry. This is Disney World. I have to uh, not say that. I didn't say that out loud, right? Okay. Anyway, my bride of 34 years has inspired some of my best songs. Um, if you know anything about me, or even if you don't, the music that I've written, I've been a singer-songwriter for a lot of years, and uh, I've been blessed to stand on this stage, actually, many times, but never to sing the songs that I wrote. I've been a part of something called Candlelight Processional for many years. Anybody ever been a part of that? If you have never been to Candlelight Processional, come back between Thanksgiving and Christmas and witness one of the most amazing celebrations of the Christmas story. There's a huge orchestra up here. There's an incredible 300 voice choir. And then I've had the privilege, the honor of narrating uh, the Christmas story for several years. Uh, one of the most, uh, just the most awesome things I've had a, a I've gotten to be a part of. So you got to come back for that if you've not experienced it. But I've never had the chance to sing my songs. And uh, to stand on this stage, that means a lot to me and my family already because my family's come with me whenever I, I narrate here. And um, to sing this song that I wrote for my wife about 30 years ago, um, my songs are inspired by the two most important things in my life, my faith in God and my family. And so uh, this is this is one that I wrote for my wife that some of you might recognize. And uh, I'm especially excited to sing it tonight because my wife of 34 years is here tonight in the audience for this performance. So, uh, all right. so this is for her especially. Tomorrow morning if you wake up and the sun does not appear I, I will be here In the dark we lose sight of love Hold my hand and have no fear Cause I, I will be here I will be here When you feel like being quiet When you need to speak your mind I will listen and I will be here being the husband of one amazing um, young lady. I am also the father of six children. We have, uh, my wife likes to say, three natural and three supernatural children. Um, they have superpowers. Uh, they kind of like the Incredibles. Actually, they came to our family, our three youngest daughters, by the miracle of adoption. And uh, it's been one of the greatest blessings in, in our life. And, um, and so many of my songs have been inspired, of course, by my children. With six kids, I have you know, no lack of inspiration uh, to write songs about. Lack of sleep, lack of sanity, but no lack of inspiration. We have spent quite a bit of time, and dare I say a few dollars, uh, in these parks over the years with those uh, six children. And of course, inspired uh, particularly um, with my two little girls who love to dress up in all of the Disney princess. I mean, we have, we, we had all of them. And at about three years old, they love to dress up 
in their princess costumes and dance with their dad. And I love to do that with them. I could match the tiaras with the shoes, the whole deal. Um, I got really good at it. But one night, uh, I didn't dance with them. It was late. I was tired. It was. They needed to be in bed. I said, "Just get your pajamas on," which had Cinderella on those too. So, but I said, "Just go, you know, go to bed. No dancing." But then I felt very, very sad after I finally got them to, to sleep because I realized that these moments were going to pass by very quickly, and they were not going to be that interested in dancing with me in just a few short years. So that night, I wrote a song, uh, a very special song called Cinderella, um, to help me remember to not miss the moments, the here and now, the present moments that, uh, that God had given me uh, as, as a dad. And I still sing this song because it, I'm still trying to learn that and not miss the moments. So I'm going to sing it uh, for you all. This is called Cinderella.
But I know The truth is The dance will go on Yeah Give yourselves a hand, y'all were beautiful That was special And my Stevie Joy that helped inspire that song Sorry I didn't get to dance with you tonight Thank y'all so much. Hey, can I introduce this band up here real quick to you? These guys are some of the most amazing musicians on the planet, and they happen to be some of my best friends in the world as well. And, well, some of them actually are related to me as well. So first of all, everybody, on the drums tonight, my son, his wife, his little girl is here tonight, so please say hello.